Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what the best Linux distribution is to pick up if you are moving from Windows for the first time. Now I've been thinking about this video for quite some time, but what prompted me to make it specifically today was that the question itself was asked by the good folks over at the BitChute Twitter account. They asked specifically, hey it's Chris Ware, do you have a front runner distro app cookie cutter approach for someone moving from Windows desktop to Linux? Endless OS? So. I've had to re-record this video quite a number of times because I keep getting technical. There is a one-word answer to this question, and it's not Endless OS, it's Ubuntu. If you're looking for a good distribution that has a lot of software behind it, a lot of support behind it, a big community uh, behind it that can help you out when you get in trouble, um, and a lot of good support, Ubuntu ticks all of those boxes. It really, really does. It is a very, very good distribution, and I would recommend the vast majority of newcomers to, to use it um, at least as a launching uh, pad. So if you if you want to pick up a, a Linux distribution and you don't know which is the best one to pick up, you know, as a first impressions, go with Ubuntu. It's used by, I, I think it's used by the most number of people. It's certainly the most popular. It's certainly the most talked about. And it's certainly um, used outside of the, inter you know, on, on the desktop at home uh, the most, I'm pretty sure. There are other options, and even within the Ubuntu operating system itself, if you don't like how the buttons are laid out and how the desktop environment works for you, you can change it. You can go to Zubuntu or Kubuntu, which is essentially the same operating system, but with a different desktop environment. So you do have options there. The same software is available to you. The same community there exists. The same support is there. Now, even within uh, Ubuntu itself, you can choose between their two major sort of... Um, arms of their uh, of their distribution. Uh, the first being the long-term support release, which is upgraded every two years, uh, but has a support cycle of five, which means if you really didn't, you know, if you wanted to set up your system and not touch it at all for the, for you know, and have the least amount of maintenance required, you could install a long-term support release of Ubuntu and then upgrade it every four years. It's easy, it's simple. However, the big cost of that is that um, your software will get pretty old. I mean, you know, the kind of software we'll be using in four years time is, is, is anyone's guess. So what I tend to do myself is use the six monthly release cycle. And that upgrades every six months. Um, and it does, you know, it upgrades the entirety of the operating system, including most of the software that's installed on it that comes out of the repositories or the app store, as it's probably known to a lot of people by now. Now, that's a very simple way of doing it, a very straightforward way of doing it, and it's a good way of making sure that all your applications, even the ones that you don't use that often, are kept up to date. Now, there is still upgrades uh, in between those six-month um, periods because there are security issues. So security vulnerabilities are patched. Some software is upgraded. For example, for example, web browsers are upgraded as they're available because that's a security issue as well. And I also find that it's helpful because a lot of browsers add new features pretty expediently and, and as such it's good to get them into the Linux ecosystem as quickly as possible. Now Ubuntu is far from the only choice. It's just the one that I would recommend and the one that seems to be the most well known. However, there are a number of distributions that have taken Ubuntu and they have built on top of it. Two such distributions are Linux Mint and Elementary OS, both of which are very, very, very good Linux distributions. However, they do have smaller communities behind them. They are uh, newer projects, although Linux Mint and Ele actually, well, they've been around a good number of years now. So uh, you, you can expect them to, to stay around. Uh, they have the same amount of software available for them as Ubuntu because they are built on top. And also a lot of the um, support that you can get for Ubuntu does carry across to those distributions as well. These distributions are basically Ubuntu with some added uh, features and tweaks as well. Uh, but they, to me personally, they don't make the system any substantially better than Ubuntu. So I tend to be perfectly happy with, with, with Ubuntu there. But if other people you know, might recommend them to you, uh, they're certainly not bad options. So I think that's about it for my recommendations of Linux distributions that work well for newcomers. It really does come down to Ubuntu because there is no substitute for the size of that community. The, um, the fact that software tends to be written specifically for it and uh, that it has just so much documentation and support. Um, I'll link to the Ubuntu website, but it's just ubuntu.com. 
Um, and if you are new to Linux and uh, wondering which distribution to try, start off with Ubuntu and then you could always branch out from there. But Ubuntu is definitely a good sort of de facto beginning when it comes to trying out Linux distributions. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. I will expect there are a number of other recommendations people would like to make. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I have been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.